Beam down smoke. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. My name is Nalo and today we're going to be talking about the M4A1S after its recent buff. We're going to be counting down the top 5 best M4A1S investments in CSGO, but before we do that, let's go ahead and take a quick look at Swap.gg. So that's Swap.gg. Just to reiterate from my previous videos, they do actually feature PayPal deposits, which is a rarity in the third-party marketplace area, so if you are looking to deposit PayPal in order to buy skins, be sure to check them out in the link in the description below. With that out of the way, let's go ahead and get into this video about the top 5 M4A1S investments in CSGO for 2020 after its buff. Alright, so the number 5 spot on our list is going to go ahead and go to the M4A1S Bright Water. So this is a very old skin from the Bravo Collection. It may not have that flashy skin factor, but it does very much so have the old quantity factor factor, which is a huge one when it comes to investments. This one is probably going to be your best bet for that long-term investment that's going to increase simply because it's a rare item, and this is something that is going to be unboxed a lot less than usual simply because Bravo cases are no longer really being unboxed. Other than that though, the skin is actually pretty cheap, which is one of the main reasons that I put it at the number 5 spot. This one's only going to run you about $10 to get one of these in a good condition, so that's a very cheap price to pay for something like this, and I would really recommend checking one out if you do have the opportunity. So those are going to be the factors for why I think the M4 one is bright water is going to be a good option for investing right now and let's go ahead and move on to the next part of our list okay our number four spot on the list is going to go to the m4a1s cyrex so again another pretty cheap m4a1s in the grand scheme of things it's also a covert from the breakout collection which makes it a very old weapon as well the breakout case is just getting more expensive as time goes on and as the trend continues so will the m4a1s cyrex this is also a very good looking m4a1s it's pretty simple but it does have a very good design and it does also share a skin collection with some other skins in the game as well, which could actually account towards something like a red loadout, which does of course increase its value. And as for some more good news, the M4A1S Cyrex in factory new condition, despite it being such an old and actually pretty good looking skin, is only going to run you $16, so a pretty cheap investment as well. Definitely check out this one if you are interested. Alright guys, moving on to the number 3 spot on our list, this is going to go to actually two M4A1S skins, and the reason for this is because both of these skins are in the same sort of a category, where they both have the same factors for why they are good investments. So the two skins here are going to be the M4A1S Decimator, and also the M4A1S Nightmare. And the main reason I put these on the list is because even though they are a somewhat more recent M4A1S, they are actually a very good looking M4A1S, and they also give you a lot of bang for your buck. So that does actually influence how much they're bought by the general population of CSGO. So especially when the Rio Major comes around, which is also one of the major factors for why M4A1S skins could rise in the future if the pros do switch over to the M4A1S instead of the M4A4, then these M4A1S skins, especially the Decimator and Nightmare, are going to be leading the pack in terms of how much they are going to gain in terms of their price. So that's going to be the two skins I believe are going to trend along with the Rio Major as long as the pros do actually show a significant interest in the M4A1S as a weapon as a whole, which of course does have a pretty big influence on the market price of these weapons. So so with the M4A1S Decimator and of course the M4A1S Nightmare, these are both going to run you about $5 for a decent wear which is actually a very good price for these, and I would definitely recommend checking them out sometime in the future. Alright guys, moving on to the number 2 spot here, I wanted to go ahead and make sure this was a very concise and clear video for everybody, so that's why it's going to be a little bit more of a short one, but for the number 2 spot on this list, it's going to go to the M4A1S Icarus Fell. Now, this is a much more expensive M4A1S, but it is from a collection, and it's also from a very popular collection, and it's also one of the most popular M4A1S skins in the entire game, in terms of high tier skins. Now, you could kind of compare this to the M4A1S Hot Rod, but the main thing with the Hot Rod is it's sort of hit or miss, and in terms of hit or miss investments, ones that people are kind of interested in but not super interested in, those ones are not really ones that you want to go all in on. So the Icarus Fell is going to be a little bit better for that because the general community does believe this is a better looking M4A1S. So unfortunately for you cheaper investors out there, the M4A1S Icarus Fell in a good wear is going to run you about $100, so that's kind of unfortunate, but it's going to be more for the high rollers anyway. If you guys are interested in picking one of these up, there's a wide variety of options for grabbing one of these, and I think it's going to be a solid one 
one in terms of both rarity and also hype. Alright, so I actually have an honorable mention on this list, but it's not really an honorable mention. It's just more something that I know that people are going to bring up in the comment section, and so it's something that I want to talk about just for that reason. So the skin I'm going to talk about here is the M4A1S Knight. So the main reason with the M4A1S Knight not making it onto the original list for this video is because the M4A1S Knight is just so expensive at this point that the return on investment is a lot more of a risk than anything else. Even though it has shown a very good trend in the past, it is just something that's so expensive it's hard to recommend it to a wide variety of people, but if you are a really high roller, it's still going to be a good option if you look at its trend line. It's still something that's probably going to rise along with the Dragon Lore. In terms of its market price, the m 4 a Knight is going to run you about $850, so a very expensive skin for sure, but if you do want to check it out, it is still an option, even though it does have a lower ROI and it is a lot more of an expensive investment. And finally, moving on to our number one spot for this list, it's going to go to the m 4 a Masterpiece. So the Masterpiece is actually a really great option when looking at all the m 4 a in the game. This is going to be an old m 4 a from a very hard to achieve collection. It's also a very rare one from that collection specifically, actually being the rarest item in the collection. Furthermore, it also comes in souvenir at still not too crazy of prices, looking at about $50 in terms of a souvenir m 4 a Masterpiece. So that's actually going to be really good for you guys out there that are interested in adding a little bit more rarity into your investing. This skin also varies a lot in price in terms of its wear. It can go all the way from like $26 all the way up to $130, so it is something that either a low or high investor could actually buy into at a reasonable price for each of them. So I think it's a really good option just as a general investment recommendation, and I think it's a good item to go ahead and check out if you're interested in something like this. The Masterpiece is also an item that a lot of people are interested in. It's a very good looking M4A1S, and it's probably something that you're going to see at the Rio Major if people decide to switch over to the M4A1S as an actual play skin. So I think it is a really good option in all of those aspects, and I think it's something that you could really make a lot of money on if you hold it long enough. Anyway guys, that's going to be my list, so just to recap it one more time, number 5 is going to be the m 4 a ones Brightwater, number 4 is going to be the m 4 a ones Cyrex, number 3 is going to be the m 4 a ones Nightmare or the m 4 a ones Decimator, number 2 is going to be the m 4 a ones Icarus Fell, the honorable mention for this list is the m 4 a ones Knight, and the number 1 spot for this list is going to be the m 4 a ones Masterpiece. So that's going to be the list. I was interested in making this video because of a few reasons, obviously with the m 4 a ones buff increasing the overall likeness of the m 4 a one s in the community as a whole, but also because the Rio Major is coming up, which could increase its value as well, simply because the pro players could switch over to it as the main rifle for the CT side. It is something that we're going to have to wait and see on, but it is something that's possible, and you're definitely going to want to buy in before that happens rather than after. Alright guys, that's going to be the video. Thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to come check it out with me. Be sure to like the video if you enjoyed it, and consider subscribing to the channel if you want the best and fastest investment advice anywhere else on YouTube. Also be sure to check out swap.gg for more items, and also the items listed in this video, and you can go ahead and buy them with PayPal deposits, which gives you a lot of freedom, of course. Also be sure to check out all of the social links in the description below to my Discord, Reddit, and also Twitter, which is going to be a way to connect with me and get a little bit more extra investment advice. So anyway guys, thank you so much for checking out the video and let's go ahead and say goodbye. Peace. <laughs>